Alright guys, I got the vice shot here. Let's get some blue. I'm gonna shoot the blue tail right here. Bam. It does not take much. Alright. We'll let that cool, we're gonna open it. Alright guys, we're gonna open this open the tails. Bam. There you go. There's the tails, 24 of them. Now we're gonna put these in the molds next, okay? Okay guys, we're gonna do the sunshine color. I've got to make some. I don't have, I got a very little bit here. So we're gonna make some. So I gotta cook this. Around three minutes, you gotta you gotta keep checking it. You just can't uh, you just can't put it in and forget about it. I usually run two minutes, then I check it to so what temperature I'm at. Then I usually do 30 seconds at a time after that. You wanna get to about 360 the first time, then mix your color and go from there. All right, guys, we're going to make the chartreuse. I have a recipe with the count. All right. Then I add... The reason I call it sunshine, it gets a lot of flake. It gets chartreuse. It gets gold. I need to order some more gold. Get low on gold. Can't go further down the can now. Gotta get some more. Alright. And silver. That right, wasn't enough. Now I'm using this little spoon. That's how I gauge it. I see guys even have smaller spoons. I don't know where they find them at. I need to. That might be nifty to have. A little bit smaller one sometimes. Because I do is a third of this or half of this. The main thing is you got a recipe. I think that's an eighth of a teaspoon. That's so many they had a sixteenth. I thought that that kind of be nice to have. All right. This has a lot of shine to it. That's why I call it sunshine. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to heat it back up, get it ready to shoot. When I do that, I'll cut y'all back on. Okay. All right, guys. Three forty-six. I try to keep it above three forty. Alright, here we go. I don't play around with them. I go ahead and put it in there. Ah, okay. That was my fault. I wasn't a good squirt. 90 on the mold. Ran a little bit over, but it'll come off. I can still reuse it. Alright, guys, we'll let that cool. And uh, we're going to open them. Bam. Alright, here we go. Wow. Yeah, I make a wild call too, but wow. <laughs> Trying to be funny, ain't I? Aren't they pretty? <clears throat> the blue tail, guys, works really good on quite a few debates. Y'all gonna see coming up. I'm gonna make a video of all these tail colors so y'all can see how they work. And in January, hopefully by the end of January, we'll have them on the site, okay? And we're trying to determine what colors we're gonna use. Sam's got some of them. I'm fishing with some of them, and we'll decide which ones we're going to use. <clears throat> Y'all know the routine, one through five, uh, one through 400? Yeah, one through 400. You can't go over the number. If, if the number's 100 and you got 105, somebody's got 95, they're going to win. Can't go over the number. One guest per person, two per household. Both of you must be subscribed. Leave a number under your own name, all right? You cannot leave two numbers under one name. If you do that, I'm just going to delete, delete it. Oh, I'm going to text you and say, pick one of what number you want, all right? Because uh, that's not the way we do it. <laughs> On Wednesday night, I make a draw. I film it right now. We're going to do it live later on. I film it right now. And then uh, I load that on Thursday mornings. You can come back on Thursday morning and see who won. Some people leave numbers, never come back. You need to do that, okay? Appreciate y'all guys fishing Lake Country. Fishing with the tail color. Somebody's going to win some of these pretty things. And they will catch fish. All right, guys. See y'all wins tonight. See ya. Bam! All right, guys. We're on an old windy day. All the pretty days this week I was painting. <laughs> I painted a porch for a guy. And then... Uh,
finished the garage, painted the porch, and started staining the deck. Then it rained from the hurricane all day Friday. It's about 10 inches. Sunshine with a blue tail. What do you think of that? All right, playing with the tail colors today. Let's we'll see if we can make a little fun video maybe. We'll see. Hey, we might turn it into a porter catch. Who never knows? Let's see what happens. But uh, I wouldn't plan on being out here long. It was just the first chance I've had to fish this week. Work's been in the way. I'm still working some. Working in the shop in the evenings. <coughs> so I've had a busy week. And then the hurricane come and knocked me out. I was planning on fishing Friday. It rained all day Friday. You can see the water has some color to it now. Visibility is about a foot and a half right now. We was at three foot. That's why I'm using this today. Because I know they can see it, right? They can see that sunshine. And look, got to give them a little sunshine. Bam. Found another one to win us some sunshine. All right, guys. Like I said, it's a windy day. It's cool. Uh... And it's a, actually it's a cold front. That's not what I'm making the video about. I'm making about the tail colors. But look, it was 70 yesterday. Right. Last couple days it's been 70. We've been running the air conditioner at the house because it got so hot. It was 75, I think, Thursday. And then he's about right at 10 probably. And then the hurricane came through Friday. Decent yesterday in the 60s. I worked in the yard blowing leaves around. That's why I'm a little, if I sound a little hoarse. Uh, when I blow those leaves, come off, get to blow. I got, I got a lot of trees, guys. I got a huge pile of leaves in my front yard. I blow them in a pile, then I tarp them and drag them off. I got a pile that's about eight foot wide. It's about two foot tall, and it runs the length of my yard about 50, 60 feet long. And it takes me weekends to do it. And I, I, Mason's going to help me this year, he said. And I'll just pay him to help me, and I have to buy him a Mexican lunch at the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> but it's worth it, I'll tell you. But I... It stops me up. It gets my sinuses all messed up when I blow those leaves around. But when the sun rays come down across, you know, when you're blowing, you see all the garbage in the air? And I put a mask on the last couple times just trying to keep from breathing all that in. But I can tell it. I, blow, I run that blur for a couple days. I, I feel like I'm just stopped up. And so something, in that, something amongst those leaves, it could be mold. Who knows when they come off the trees that just messes me up bad. All right, guys, found another one. I moved from where I was. I'm running down this steep bank just looking for fish. There's a little lay down coming in right there. Y'all can see it. There's just a handful on it. There ain't many on it. I got one of those. That's a decent fish. I thought they could really be small because they don't look very big in the scope. That's a decent fish. He's about 10 and a half. All right. Bam. I did get another one off that tree. This is the second cast. The next cast, I had I had a bite. Then the fallen cast, I caught one. This is about the size I thought they were. He's about nine. He's over nine, I'd say. I see you, buddy. Nah, he's about nine. That's it. Maybe eight and three quarter. But that's about what I figured they looked like on the scope. You can see them right here. See them little marks right there? It ain't many, as I told you. See them little marks right here? A little marks, but there ain't many. <laughs> it's just a couple hanging on that limb, isn't it? All right, guys. My camera cut off on me as I was reeling this fish in, so I just left him out there. <laughs> He's been running around. He was up on the boat, as you seen. I just dropped it, left him out there. I said, "All right, I'm just gonna leave you out there for a minute." Bam! That's a nice one, isn't it? Trying to find some. Look, it came. He got shaking right here and came back loose. Um. Just trying to find some bigger fish, guys. It's hard to do sometimes. That's a nice one right there. Nice fish. He's about 11 and a half, 11 and three quarter. Bam. All right. Bam. All right, guys. I'm going to move so I can find some bigger fish. These all about the same size. The last couple I've caught have been that size. Uh, I got them stirred up some now. You can see where they pulled off the limb a little bit. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten of them there. Look at the one back I just caught. See him right there? <laughs> That's him going back. Isn't that neat? Come on, don't you get in my lap, go pandal. Right, I'm gonna pick you up. You don't jump. He jump. <laughs> I was gonna let him, guys. He jumped beside the boat out of the water. I thought, well, if he's gonna stay on during the jump, we'll pick him, we'll go ahead and pick him up. 
He's so decent. Watch how easy this comes out of him, though. <laughs> Once you tear that hole right there, y'all know what I'm saying. Look, when you hook them right here, that's why they get off so easy. Look. <laughs> yep. See, so once you tear that hole right there, all they gotta do is jump inside the boat and they get off. That's why I net a lot of them. Y'all don't have me, I've lost right there, but you can see the hole right here. <laughs> it ain't hard for them to get off, is it? Hey guys, I found a stump. Yep, it's gonna be a crappy. Found a stump with a couple crappy on it. Now, y'all heard me say that a lot. I get out on these points, I've never fished a stump. <laughs> I just thought, I was heading in. I thought, y'all see how rough the water's got the wind's bad? I'm just going out this point real slow. And I see this stump. There's actually two stumps here. And I said, I think that's crappy on that stump. One well, but a few fish there, but bam. There you go. That's a decent fish. He's a little, little bit over nine. All right. See right there? It's a stump. There's a couple of fish. One of them just hit me. There he comes right there. <laughs> there he comes. I just pitched it out there, he ain't but 10 feet from the boat. I just pitched it out there, let it sink clean to the bottom while I was showing you all the stump, and bam, one of them hit it. He said, I gotta have me some sunshine with some blue tail. Bam. And guys, it's a tough day. I mean, I've caught quite a few fish. Finding bigger fish today is tough. Y'all can see the water's, it's almost, <laughs> it's pretty rough, and the wind's just a whistling. You hear it whistling through this pipe here. That's why I was heading in. I thought, well, I done caught enough to make a video. <laughs> and I thought, I'm, I'm just going to wander around. Let me turn my back here to the wind a little bit, guys. I said, I'm just going to wander around and on this point before I go in and see if I see anything. And I see something else right here, too. Right there's something. Over there. So, I don't think it's a brush pile, but it could be. But they'll gather up on stumps in this lake because this lake does not have a lot of brush piles in it. Kerr Lake has a bunch. This lake does not. That's a crappy bam. I'm in open water here now, guys. I made a video here last weekend. Uh, same place, just open water in the channel. I mean, 14 foot right here, but it's 20, by 25 right there. Right on the edge of the channel, I'm just running along. They call it sniping, okay? I'm just running along with my uh, live scope looking for fish and I seen about six right here and I threw at them they were moving along that's a decent fish he's about he's probably ten and a half there you go all right guys I'm gonna call it appreciate y'all guys watching let's go ahead and make a port of catch with this so, so, I got enough fun videos so uh, what I'll do one evening this week I'll sit down and make these and film myself making them and somebody's gonna win some sunshine with a blue tail. That tail is azure. And uh, yeah, and, <laughs> and it, guys, it works. It's a fluorescent blue, and uh, what it does, it, it reflects light a little different, okay? Appreciate y'all guys. You know the routine, one through 400, one guest per person, one guest per prescriber. You must subscribe. Make sure you hit that button, subscribe. You leave your number after this video. Now this is, I load these on Sundays. On Wednesday evening after five, I do the draw. And I'll let y'all know by Thursday morning. I'll load something that you know who won, okay? If you leave a number, come back and check make sure to see who won, okay? Because I'm, I'm gonna comment to you online. Hey, you won this week. And some of y'all get right back with me in 10 to 15, 20 minutes. Some of you is the next day. Some of you, a couple I've never heard from. Good luck to everybody. I thank y'all for watching Fishing Lake Country. Some of y'all say you enjoy the port of catches. I'm giving you a chance now to win something that you can't buy yet. All right? These tail colors will not go on sale until January. Hey, Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. See y'all guys.